Hello there, great person, and welcome to the next chapter reading of The Wheel of Time, Book 2 of The Great Hunt. Today we are going to read chapter 15, and it's called Kinslayer, and the symbol is the dagger of more death. And by the way, we are like about a third through the book, even though we're only at chapter 15, so perhaps the chapters will be a bit shorter in the future, I don't know. But it, it's a bit weird though, yeah. We'll see, we'll just see. So let's start and see whom we will follow today. Rand, okay, we are, we are following Rand. Okay, so they are now wandering and going their merry way and the fog is still there, shrouding everything in fogness and the lamps burned as if something very, very big has, had burned it. It might have been an acid eye. Might have been the tower that exploded. I don't know. Um, yeah, so you last time some people in the comms, I think Scott and someone else told me that the tower was not metal, but it was stone. The, the pillar was stone. And the oily metal feeling was just um, Rand touching the one power. I'm not sure, though. I have to admit, I'm still not convinced that it's not metal. Though, yes, I see that it being metal might be um, more, more reaching than it being stone, of course. But I still suspect it might be a metal we just don't know and that looks like stone a bit. But I don't know. We'll see. Perhaps I will get more clues to that or perhaps I will be um, proven wrong in the future more um, directly. Okay, so the land looks as if someone had streaked it with a great, great, huge brush of fire. That's, uh, I like that metaphor. I, I really do. So, um, everything's just gone. Yeah, what did happen? Perhaps a comet, hit, uh, a meteorite hit? I don't know. Okay. Old yet nothing had come in to reclaim the land. Black gave way to green and green to black along knife edge line. So that sounds really, really artificial. I don't know why. It must have been an artificial explosion or casting or whatever. Okay, and everything's dead and gone and um it's very distant and feels stiff. Or empty, yeah. It's 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 uh it's like a horror landscape. Um. Oh yeah. By the way, if you haven't read, check out my horror story. It's uh out now, and uh, it's probably yeah. Just tell me what you think of the writing. Perhaps just listen to the first fifteen minutes and tell me how you thought the writing was. Perhaps because uh, I'm preparing something in the in the future. And I would like to get feedback on my writing, so you might uh, find that interesting. But uh, yeah, it's it's it has a Silent Hill feel here. It's it's like this. I currently imagine it a bit like a cross between Silent Hill and what was the other one? What was the other one? Oh, I don't remember. There was something, some other um, movie where there was this mirror, Stranger Things, Stranger Things. It reminds me a bit as well of the Upside Down, you know, it's like something like that. Did he predict Stranger Things? Did he know the future? Jordan knew the future all along. <laughs> it tasted, the water tasted flat as if it had been boiled. So it has, so yeah, the, I mean, yeah, I mean, I get it. There was something very dangerous that burned everything down, but what was it? Oh, me. Twice he saw, saw a wispy streak crawling across the sky like a line drawn with cloud. The lines were too straight to be natural. Is it like the... the, the, the it's, it's a gem trail. They are, they're poisoning you and Mike. No, <laughs> they're not Mike controlling you. Uh, but it, it sounds like uh, something a jet would give off. You know, these... I don't know what the word is in English, but these these two parallel lines of uh, of yeah, burning fuel. I don't know what it's called. It's not smoke, is it? I don't know. Okay, now Loyal is singing to a tree, which might mean that something horrifying has happened to it, or that he wants to connect with the surroundings. Perhaps I'm not sure. 
oh, it's the same one that brought the dying tree to life uh, that, uh, that like, um, made or created the tomb of the green man, I think. Yeah, and he's, no, like, only rumbling his words weirdly. And, yeah, and, and, and the singing is also not distant, but without, without light, so to speak. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so I think he's healing the, the, the plant, the, the trunk. Um, and Rand, Rand's soul seems to be, remember the Ogier song. Is it from Luz Theron or further down, or is it just something humans could once do but forgot, like the things that Elias said? I don't know. Just, just spitballing here. Yeah, and Huron's like, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Okay, so now Loyal has a stuff. I like stuff, so good, good for you. <laughs> and Rand is saying, always something new, always something I didn't expect, and sometimes it isn't horrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been through a lot of horrible stuff recently, so I can't fault him for thinking that. Ah, okay, so it's a weapon. And uh, he tells Loyal, I didn't know you, you Ogier, you, are, you wear weapons. And he says, only, uh, usually we do not. Usually the price has always been too high. So there has been madness or whatever. Yeah, but the, the place is making him so uneasy that he thinks he needs a weapon. I, I imagine the Ogier don't really fight with each other, not the way they are depicted, they, because they are very calm, and even when R Rand was driving Loyal away with his harsh words, Loyal was more like very defensive and easily forgave him. So I imagine they just don't fight a lot, and, and a stuff or a weapon means obviously fighting, so he might not like that at all, and it's against his view of the world. A bit like the traveling people, but not as extreme as they are. Okay, so Loyal says weird stuff, but mainly he says, I felt everything, and I felt that the land wanted me to make this weapon. That's a bit disturbing. That's a, not only a bit, it's very disturbing. Okay, now they are just continuing on their trail, and they are all very shaken, understandably. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought, so... Matt is like, yeah, we'll just now, we go to Fane, we take the dagger and the horn, and then we'll be heroes. But will we survive even? Yeah, I mean, how are they gonna survive against 20 Trollocs? And perhaps five Dark Friends, or however many are left, and Fane himself. That's gonna be a fun battle. It's very brave that they ride away from the column. I would have stayed there probably, I don't know. Because I would have assumed that it would bring you back and Rand might start to learn channeling a bit more and bring them just just bring them back, I don't know. Okay, something is weird with the trail. What's gonna what's gonna happen now? Okay, so it's almost as if he's remembering the trail and not smelling it. So perhaps you can smell it through the world. It's like it's it's like this is the world they are in. This is the world the others are in, and the kids can like smell it's bleeding through into the other world where they are in. So they are like at the same place the others are, but they can't see each other because they are in a different uh, reality phase that's on top of it. Something like that. That might might be. And he smells a lot of violence. So yeah, this this place they're in. It seems pretty. It, it seems as if it's directly after the breaking or everything has broken. Yeah, the places, the, it's just as if violence hangs on, on this very weird, different place. Yeah, and they, and they don't see any signs of life. What happened? Is this a place where the Dark One won and just sucked all life, life out of, of everything? Yeah, and Rand is starting to wonder what happened. 
who was watching me in Faldara? Who broke Fane out? Who killed the who killed the Fade? Why did Fane run and not try to end him? Um, and the fly room, what happened there? Yeah, it's also weird. Okay, now he's just training with a sword in a land of desolated loneliness. Yeah, it's it's like they're in a completely different dimension where life is not any uh, has no meaning anymore. So when did it happen? Is it like bran branched it off when, like two months ago or three thousand years ago, or when did when did this world branch off? Oh, and and Tom's things are keeping him company, so to speak, and giving him comfort, and he's trying to play the flute, but he can't really do it because it's so loud in the emptiness. Oh, now Fogger's appearing. Great. Oh, what? <laughs> what the friend? <laughs> okay, there's a voice that says, Swords do no good against me, Lucerin. You should know that. Why? <laughs> What is going on? Oh god, I knew something very weird was gonna happen and now something weird is happening and I'm very glad. Oh, and the, there is a figure coming walking with a staff. Ooh, and behind the shadow there is something blacker than night. Ooh, Balzorn has come. Black cloak and the, with a black mask. It's so bad as how he keeps calling him Lusteran. If I stretch out my hand, I can touch you, Kingslayer, because I can touch you, Harry Potter. Okay. We all know how that went. Um, and now Rand's like, no, I'm Rand, I'm not the dragon. And Balzamon knows every of Luz Theron's past names as well. Let's, I hope we get one. I hope we get one. We probably won't, let's be real, but I hope we get one. Okay, and he knows I know your blood and your line back to the first spark of life that ever was. So is this a parallel world Balsamon or is it real world Balsamon that could step into the branch world? If he can do that, that, can, that opens up another Kind of worms that's so big that it's like a sea of worms with billions of worms and I'm gonna drown in that sea. What an unpleasant thought. But uh, yeah, it's, it's like, what's going on? How does this work? Can he, is there one Balsamon for every world and he has to like fight every loose Terran and his dis descendants in every world to win and that means stopping the wheel or is it enough to end one loose Terran in one world and uh, whatever I, I don't know or perhaps uh, Rand brought him with him because they're linked because he just said now here uh, we are linked and he talks about the first moment so we know creation the moment of creation so Rand spirit soul whatever was created the moment of creation. It's it's like this confirms that I think. Yeah. Fascinating. Okay. And he says, Hey, you are not Taveran, you are the Taveran Taveran. You are so Taveran that I could recognize you everywhere, even though I didn't in the first book, but normally I can recognize you anywhere. Father of lies. Rand managed. Yeah, I'm sure you did. And now he's repeating the dark one is bound inside your ghoul, blah blah blah. It won't help you, mate, won't help you, he's there. You are well named. If you could just take me, why haven't you? Because you cannot. I walk in the light and you cannot touch me. Yeah. Why can't he just take him now? That's that's a fair question. What's he gonna say? Is he gonna spout evil guy nonsense or will he tell us something? something that we can use to deduce what he's up to. I wonder what the shadow behind Baalzaman is. I really, and this might be completely wrong, but I 
and and I I still am working with the theory or hypothesis. Yeah, I know. Um, with the hypothesis that Baal Zaman is like an eldritch being, so a being from beyond the stars, from beyond time and space itself, that's like r slowly wiggling into the world, renders in and starts to you know influence it and surface in it. But in the end, he's still someplace else, like the the body or whatever the essence is someplace else. And he's using these avatars like um, in the first uh, book he used this man that was with, uh, connected with this dark tendril. Um, and now it's again, it's this man and there's like this fork behind it into the unknown. I get the feeling that Baal Zaman is something completely different, but uh, he's using these avatar bodies. And reminds me a bit of, of <laughs> the German coming through uh, of... Um, Grand Fisher from Bleach, like with the little girl lure and the monster behind. This is like that, only that I think that Balsamon is an outer dimensional being of infinite strength that slowly bleeds into the world through these, these puppet things he's using or it is using. Ah, uh, okay. You always did these two, the girl who tries to watch over you. A poor guardian and weak kinslayer. If she had a lifetime to grow, she would never grow strong enough for you to hide behind. Whom is he talking about? Is he talking about Egwen, Nanif, or Elaine? Or Moraine, yeah. Girl who Moraine is surely not a girl, yeah. Who is it? You lie and lie and even when you tell the truth, you twist it to a lie. Yeah, but that's what you're ac uh, accusing the Esedai of currently as well. So is everyone just that has power lying and twisting their words? And the Esedai do it um, because they have to, because they can't technically lie. And he does it because he's having fun with it, I think. Or because he's just the deceiver and that's his MO. It might be, might be. Um, but yeah, yeah. Do the ones in power always lie though? Might, might be, might be that if you get very powerful, you tend to lie to keep your power. I don't know. That might be what Ren is thinking here. Okay. Do I lose Theron? You know what you are, who you are. I have told you and served the women of Tavalon. Okay. So they are on one side, so to speak. I mean, you know, figuratively, because they say the same thing. Of course, they're not working together. Yeah, and now he says, yeah, I've got Black Arja, you, you fool. And um, he says, he says, Moraine told you who you are. Did she lie or is she one of mine? Ooh, ooh no, 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 no. That is bad. Oh no, he's planting the seed for Ren to distress Moraine even more. That was, yeah, that was clever about someone. That was clever, you cheeky, you cheeky demon thing. Uh, now he says, yeah, you're hunting for the Horn of Val Valir, aren't you? Because the SDA are using you. Though he's not. He's looking for Dagger and more death. Okay, and now he's gaslighting him even more. He says, yeah, the acid It's like, sometimes old enemies become friends without realizing it because I'm so evil. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're the father of lies. I mean, he's, he's really, really, really earning his name right now. Really do, do like his efforts. A plus for being a lying POS. Very good. Okay, now he's asking them or saying, "Yeah, we are we are bound by fate and and everything and 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 the wheel and stuff." And uh, don't you remember our last fights? And I hope he remembers or tells us something about it. Okay, and so they fought since the beginning of time. Yeah, I get it. We we know that, but please tell me something new. The last battle is coming. Okay. And this time the cycle will not begin in you with your death. Okay, yeah, you, I'm, I'm sure you've said that a lot. Because otherwise why fight him? Or was every other battle preparation for this battle? That might be, he might be really, really playing the long con here. The long game. Okay, yeah, okay. 
Okay, now his shadow thing is flooding the world. Yeah, because I think that's it. That's his real body. He's using this this man with the mask and burning eyes figure. It's just like an avatar. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, now he's praying to the creator. Yeah, that creator dude should really show up and help you as well, I think. I still wonder, was Baal someone created at the start of time or was he like fetched from another place and bound to the world like take him from the sea of darkness and evil eternity and you put them into the wheel, world with the wheel to I don't know create obstacles for heroes so the world will work and they have something to strive for or unite against whatever is that it or was he created anew with the beginning of time because he might the creator might have taken him like it's like say I'm I'm walking at the puddle and there's a worm in the puddle and I take the worm and put it into a hill of ants and the 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 ants and the worm are fighting. You know what I mean? Or is it like he created a hill of ants and another hill of termites, so to speak, and they were created at the same time? What is it? What is it? I'm curious to find that out. That's that's something I'm wondering currently. And please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. But I I. It might be that because that's not clear yet. Is the dark uh, is the dark one something from out of out of realities that the creator just took and um, wove into the pattern, or is it something the creator created anew? We don't know yet that yet, I think. And yeah, I hope we find that out soon, or not soon, but down the line. That's very intriguing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to see my face? No, you should. Okay, and now he puts out the mask. This is what the power unchecked can do even to me, but I heal lose Terran. Okay, so the power, yeah, so the one power is more powerful than him. Yeah, um, I mean, so at least we've got confirmation to that. So if all strings, uh, or how, what do you say? If, if if everything if every if every plan fails, you can just use Genki Dharma. Just spirit bomb that son of a bitch out of the sky, because all the power will destroy him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I don't know. You can have power again, and now he's starting with that stuff again. Yeah, great, great. But the shadow is there between you and it, madness and death. You need not die, Lucetheran, not ever again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he's he's a good villain. I I like him. He's he's a dickish villain. I mean, what 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 else do you want? He's not scary though. He's not scary. I don't think he's scary. He's more very interesting. I really think he's very 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 interesting as a villain. I like those villains. I because yeah, I know I'm most. Most times I'm rooting for the villains. I know I'm a bit weird What with that. Here I mainly root for the heroes, though I like him as a villain because he's he's currently just this very faint influence on the story. It's a big influence, but it's only felt vaguely. It's felt more and more, yes, but it's felt vaguely and he's it's starting to break through into the story and I like that. And currently he's just like this guy who's a bit of a prick that's uh, making, yeah, having some fun with Ren and like gaslighting him and stuff. I am looking forward to do a video on the Dark One when all, when all this is done. I really look forward to do some videos thinking about stuff again. Oh, now he says, yeah, I can teach you how to channel because I'm a male. At least that's what is implied, I think. So we have a gender or a sex. Whatever you say, I don't. I'm. I don't know. I'm German. We don't have that uh, distinction, really. So, um, I'm. I don't know. She's sex. Uh, let's say sex. So his sex seems to be male, I assume, because he can. Or it's still both. It could still be both. It could be that he knows how to channel Sidin and Sidar because we know he has this third power. He can teach people to channel. Or is that what he's talking about here? And he's just tricking him. Ah, so many questions. So many questions, questions, I don't know. Yeah, now he says, I am yours, great lord, that's all you need to say. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, of course. 
Okay, yeah, now now they're just going in circles. I will not bow to you. You will bow to me. No, I will not bow to you. Yes, you will bow to me. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. Yes, 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 definitely. No, 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 no. But I have argument A to make or point A to make. And he says, no, no, point A is stupid. But I have point B to make. And then he said, Brent says, no, no, it's, it's all stupid. I'm against you. And it's going on for five pages now. <laughs> Though there are some very interesting hints, I, I really like these five pages, but it's starting to it started to get like, okay, I get your point. You try to make him come to your side. You've said that like 50 times now. And stop now. Do something. Do something. Please do something, Dark One. Like, 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 let the shadow thing behind you lose. Do that, please. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps I'm tired. Okay, now he just lit the sword on fire, balsam on it. So he's a witch for now. Okay, now he's trying to use Sidene and Loyal and you're not just sleeping because they, they're like, no, oh, we're not important currently. Let us sleep. <laughs> okay, so it was a dream thing again. Great, great. Oh, great, and the Heron has now burned it to his hand because it was a real dream thing. Yeah, it was that that everyone wanted him to do, to channel, he would not. End of the chapter. Yeah, he's quite a stubborn young boy, young man, young boy. But um, I get his point. Still in a very weird world between thing. Hope he gets out soon. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this chapter, though it was exactly the right amount of Balthamon. It started it all well. It started for the first time to get a bit like, yeah, I know, you're the bad guy, I get it, you were evil and tried to tempt him. Yes, please stop saying it all the time. Um, but I kind of get why they do it. It's it's to show um, Rand's character and strength and that he's not uh, letting uh, Balthamon's bullshit go to him. But let's see where they go. So we... We had new new ideas, at least, that I started to develop and some questions I developed. Nothing really happened in this story other than that Loyal got a stuff, which is great. So he's now got a better stuff. And let's just see where it goes. So that was the chapter. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider liking and subscribing, ring the bell for more updates on The Wheel of Time and The Witcher and The Boys and what else. I forget. Oh yeah, Tower of God, great anime. You should watch it. It's really worth it. It's like it's so much like Wheel of Time when you, when the the feeling is very very for me at least. It's very close. Um, yeah, and please check out my, my my story and tell me how the the writing style is because yeah, I'm preparing something down the line. And um, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a very very great day. And please, as always, uh, take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.